Seth Franklin Rollins comes to the ring. He's back to being a visionary and a revolutionary, and he's never stationary, and he's hunting monsters because Bronson Reed is a monster, but so is Seth Rollins. He says, so am I. Because Bronson Reed has reminded him of what he's capable of, and he likes it. Does that mean he's, he's reminded him he's capable of dressing like a normal human being? But nevertheless, Bronson Reed interrupted on the screen and says, well, I promised I wouldn't come in there and get in a fight with you tonight, but I'm out here on the parking lot. If you want to come out here, well, come on. And Seth goes out in the parking lot, and the camera follows him. And Adam Pierce is trying to stop him. And he blows past there. They get in a fight. And Seth gives Bronson Reed the curb stomp on a car hood and then rolls off of it and starts cutting a promo to the camera. But in the background, you see Reed gets up, and there's more fight, and they go into the back of a a, a production truck so just a big empty you know not a flatbed but a giant like a u-haul truck and they have more fight and then bronson bronson reed picks seth up and gives him the death valley driver out of the back of the truck through at least four tables side by side and end to end that had been covered with a giant black sheet and had some cardboard boxes set on them, apparently for just such an occasion. And could there potentially have been a hint of crash pad underneath that, Brian? But and then and then boom, and there they were. So uh, that it. Why did they have the fucking whole giant thing set up and dressed with a tablecloth out in the middle of the parking lot? Is it, but but everybody got to see him take a big bump. Catering's really gotten out of control. I know. Well, they they could. That was the kids' table out there. They couldn't seat everybody. Anyway, what'd you think of the whole idea? We can't do anything there. Come out to the parking lot. Well, that's kind of egregiously exploiting a loophole that I'm sure that Adam Pierce never intended when he got Bronson Reed the heels solemn word that he wasn't going to do anything wrong. So we can't fault yeah. management in any of this. And why is he taking Bronson Reed's word on anything? Well, that's why, I'm, you know, he's a nice boy. That's what his mother always said. You're he's such a Mr. Nice Guy. If you can't believe Mr. Nice Guy, who can you believe, Brian? 